Hi guys, how are you all doing today? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anu Adedire and I'm vlogging from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And today, um, and I vlog about faith, relationship, weddings, motherhood, and life matters generally. And today I'll be talking about something very important that I believe that um, I was really reminded, if that's an English word, um, of how important it is to see the beauty in God's doings and in God's work. So the, what I'm talking about today is I'm grateful for 2020. Now I know that a lot of us, <laughs> we've had so many dealings, so many losses, so many heartbreaks, so many struggles in the year 2020. And you're wondering, oh my God, what kind of year is this? But I just sat down a couple of days ago. I think it was yesterday. I was watching a conference. Um, I think it's the... Um, cover the earth by william mcdowell he put up this conference and it was so amazing and this lady was talking about how um normally for the last eight months how god has provided how god has kept her family how um they increased um the rent and they couldn't afford it and god blessed them with a house and all that and i look at the situation in nigeria also the the revolution that the, the youths want a better nigeria everyone wants a better nigeria not just the youth but you know, I just sat down for one minute and I was talking to my husband and I said, I said, babe, do you know that I'm grateful for 2020? He said, yes. I said, but I'm just looking at it that if there was not, if there was no lockdown, all the revolutions that we had this year, we probably might not have had it. Everybody might actually have just gotten used to the lifestyle that let's just push it. Let's just get used to it. Let's just this, let's just that. And I just, and I just look at it and I'm like, God. I am actually grateful for 2020. I'm grateful you made us wake up and realize that we actually are more than we think we are. We actually have more potential. I, I just look at a lot of us, the strength that God has given us in this year, 2020. Some of us started businesses. Some of us gave birth to babies. Some of us started built houses. Some of us got better jobs. And, and a lot of times we mask ourselves up in the evil that's going on, in the sadness, in the darkness that's going on. And we forget the goodness of God. And we forget the beauty of God. And we forget how wonderful God has been in this year 2020. And I look at him like, we are finishing October already. Like, I was really pumped. I'm like, oh my God, October, my birthday, my one year anniversary, da 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 da. But I look at him and I'm like, God, I'm grateful for 2020. I'm grateful that you you've made me have so much time to spend with you. Even to my to my gospel artists that my friends or my or are 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 way way a bigger platform. When last have you sat down at home for months and just enjoyed the presence of God? And if you've not so far, I believe that the same thing across all the speakers I talked about in the Cover the Earth conference yesterday, a lot of them said the same thing. God just wants that time of intimacy and he shut down the world guys i am so excited god shut down the world to just have us to himself and when god is having his own programming don't forget the devil always has his own programs but i don't believe that the devil has anything to do with what's going on in 2020 i believe that god just wants to call us to himself I can't remember when last everybody has been in the same space, in the same circle, all at the same time for a very long time. I can't remember when last. And I look at it and I'm like, God, I am so grateful for 2020. I'm so grateful that you've given us time to call us to yourself. You've given us time to spark up a revolution, to spark up a challenge to ourselves, to spark up a time where we're standing against injustice, we're standing against strife, we're standing against all the evils and ills that's been going on. And we are saying, God, we are grateful. So I thought about it and I'm like, before I start the next set of vlogs and vlogs that I've had and I've put together for the week, let me encourage you today. Please, before the end of this year, reflect on how you can be grateful for the year 2020. Yes, for some people, it might seem that the journey's been rough, but God has been with you through it all. To all those that have lost properties, that have lost so many things, 
when it comes to the 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 the, the goings and all the all the atrocities that the hoodlums created after the protest i say god will give you a resounding recovery a resounding recovery the theme for my church this year is a year of unprecedented advancement and 2020 is not over my brother my sister god still has a lot in store for you yes you i'm looking at you and i know that god has a lot in store for you so you might watch this on my youtube channel you might watch it on my instagram page and be wondering why are you saying this i know don't you understand what's going on don't you understand you don't understand what's going on in my life and i'm here to encourage you that god is not done with you he has called you to himself so i want you to just open your heart and open your arms to the father's love Till I see you next time, I leave you into the hands and the grace of God that is able to keep you and you will never fall in Jesus' name. Amen. Please don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you.